Good morning children. Now we know what are integers. So let us see the use of integer in real life. Meaning how do we use integers in our day to day life. First let us revise what are integers. Integers is a collection of number which consists of 0 and the counting numbers that is positive integers like 1, 2, 3, 4 and so on and the negative numbers which are called negative integers such as minus 1, minus 2, minus 3, minus 4 etc. So let us see the usage of integers in real life. Let us assume an airplane is flying in the sky and its height above the sea level is 4000 meters and there is also a submarine which is floating under the sea and it is around 900 meters below the sea level. Now how do we represent this using numbers? Now let us assume that the mean sea level is the zero level. So we can say the height which is above the sea level can be considered as positive height and the depth which is below the sea level can be considered as negative height. So we have positive above the sea level and negative below the sea level. So positive height and negative height. Now how do we represent the height of the flying aeroplane? We can say the aeroplane is at plus 4000 meters with reference to the sea level. And what about submarine? Since the submarine is at 900 meters below the sea level we can say it is at minus 900 meters height. So here we used integers to indicate the height which is positive height in terms of positive integer and depth which is negative height in terms of negative integer. Now what about profit and loss? This is Kareem. Assume Kareem made a profit of rupees 500 one day and the next day he made a loss of 100 rupees. Now we know plus and minus are opposite in nature. Same way are the profit and loss. So let's assume profit is positive and loss is negative. We are using this way because profit means we gain something and we get additional money and in loss we lose something and there is less of money with us. So if we represent the profit and loss in terms of integer then we can say on Monday curry made plus 500 rupees because plus refers to gain or increment. Same way the next day we can say curry made minus 100 rupees as minus refers to loss or decrement in general. So that was the use of integers in profit and loss. Profit we indicate by plus sign and loss we indicate by minus sign. 
So, Karim had a loss of 100 rupees on the next day. Now, coming to the directions, a boy went 5 steps in north direction. Another boy went 5 steps in south direction. Now, how do we represent this? We know north and south are opposite directions. So, let us assume north as positive and south as negative. So, we can say the boy moved plus 5 steps and another boy moved minus 5 steps as he moved towards the south and here we used integers to represent opposite directions. North we considered positive and the south we considered negative. So the movement of 5 steps in north we said plus 5 steps and the movement of 5 steps in north we said as minus 5. Next, how do we use integers in representing population? Let us say when we talk about change in population, if the population increases, we show it as positive and if the population decreases, we show this decrement or the decrease in population as negative. So, in a town Sundarpur, if the population increased by 2550, we would say the change in population is plus 2550 as it increased. Same way, if the population decreased by 1250, we would say the change in population is minus 1250 as it indicates the decrement or the decrease in population. So, we saw the integers are used in our day-to-day -day lives to represent opposite things like increase or decrease in population to show the height or the depth etc. So, to sum up, let us revise again what are integers. Integers is a collection of whole numbers that is 0 and counting numbers like 1, 2, 3, 4 which are positive integers and the negative integers which are minus 1, minus 2, minus 3, minus 4 etc. So that was all about the use of integers in our real life. Bye bye children.